everyone, it's Jess Adele, and I'm here with Mike Patel. Hi. And our names rhyme, and I really want to say it. I hope you don't mind, I full named you. I don't mind, you could rhyme all the time. <gasps> okay, this is gonna be fun. Actually, no, it's gonna be amazing, because today we are reviewing all four of Arcade 1-Up's cabinets. We got them all. Gotta catch them all. No, we were really lucky. Arcade 1-Up is super cool, and they sent us all four. Yeah, everyone else has like one or two, but we blew past two, went to three, went straight to four. Let's go, Mojo Plays! It's so, uh, yeah, we did our unboxing. That's a separate video. Uh, yes, go check it out. It was such a good time. Make sure to check it out later. <gasps> oh my god. Ooh, wait, move it's your head. The, it's got oh. the clicky. I'm all about okay, the clicky. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, we need to unbox this first, and then we can enjoy the little things. Like, you were uh, jumping okay. ahead. I cannot right now. These are really gorgeous cabinets. Uh, that's the They're first so thing I, I gotta say. The yeah. first impression is is exactly what you'd expect. It just, you put it in your house, it's gonna liven up your house. I appreciate the art so much. They really stay true to the original cabinets. I'm happy with the ones that they pick to represent each cabinet, too. It's perfect. Asteroids, Rampage, Street yeah, Fighter, Yeah, tiny detail that I'm bummed about a little bit, but I get why they didn't do it, is if the marquee lit up, that would be... Okay, but ugh. Jess, Jess. I the, know, these, I know, I just, I wanted to mention it. It's these are These are not expensive cabinets. These are affordable cabinets that you that's could buy it. for your home. And, and that's the idea. They're not the heavy, like, 200-pound CRT cabinets yeah. from, from in the past that you needed, like, to have all your buddies help you move. Yeah, oh. I'm not even mad at the screens. I don't mind that it's not a CRT. No. I get it. It would have been so much heavier. L listen, it's 2018. I want yeah, something like, that's, that's super vibrant. And uh, uh, CRT monitors, I remember how heavy those were. <laughs> Forget it. I know that's like the authentic, authentic experience, but yeah. like these are multi-arcades. It's not going to be authentic anyway. I mean, they're particle board that also doesn't lend itself to the weight. So yeah. it's, it's Another okay. little thing that was changed was uh, the way the audio works. Just on the right side in the front, at the top, yeah. there is just that little speaker on the side. How do you feel about it? Well, it's mono sound, but it is really loud and, and it sounds good. Oh! Yo, get over here. Ah! Whoa! No! Uh, I am used to like, it's up at the top, the two, uh, the two speakers, but yeah. here it's like sometimes while I'm waiting or whatever I'm playing, I put my hand on it, the audio is out because I covered it with my hand, right? You could do that, or I like to put a drink right there, so that's not What's good. wrong with you? How <laughs> do you not, stack do of not quarters. put a drink on this beautiful cabinet, no. Uh, wait, you, it's this the move? No, this. Oh, it is this. Isn't it? I just saw it pointing at that. There you oh, go. Oh, nice music. Yes! Guy runs in. You no, know, that's sick. That just looks sick. That looks really sick. Before you start playing one of the games on the cabinet, like, it'll tell you the layout of the buttons, like how it's gonna work. Yeah. But sometimes it is kind of hard to remember it because you can't just look down and see, oh yeah, this does this. So yeah, yeah. that was a big issue with Defender. We'll get to that later. I, I think the other thing that we both were kind of hoping for was some sort of coin slot. And yes. not even a working coin slot, but you could buy those mini, like, uh, you know, Chechki arcade things that have like the fake coin slots. Mm. I would like them, if there were buttons that actually put in coins, that would be amazing. I know maybe not at this budget, maybe at this price, Maybe they'll release a new line. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, all these little ideas that we would like, I, like, it makes sense why they're not there, but I think it's a nostalgic thing on our parts, why we want them. Because, like, it's so satisfying to hear the noise that the coin makes, like, when you get an yeah. extra credit, like... Oh, and a working coin slot? I can make so much money off my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> on over! It could be a piggy bank. So, um, yeah, with the cabinet, I would just want to say that uh, everything feels good. Sure, the buttons aren't made out of resin or, like, high you know, quality resin from yeah. the, the old days, or ivory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no yeah. crazy quality. They're plastic, quality, they're clicky, but... everything's good. Yeah, it's good, uh, it's issue, good for what it is. Issues, the spinner doesn't spin enough, in my opinion, right? Oh, I yeah, find it could have okay. spun more, but it was fine, everything works good. The tracker ball was amazing, though. Tracker ball, amazing. oh my god, amazing. Yeah. I could see people who build their own arcades would still buy this one, for the, the tracker ball, the yeah. track ball, the roll ball. Absolutely, like, a that's experience. a cabinet that's so worth it. Like if you're a huge Centipede fan, get it, just yeah. get it. Because the tracker ball is so good and you but can't find that as easily. The joysticks, we both had this issue where, mm. and we didn't think it was gonna be an issue, but while you're playing, they kind of come loose because yeah. you screw them on. They're not permanent on exactly. top. So I do find I had to like, between matches, I had to tighten it a little bit. I don't know what the solution to that yeah, is. So it's, if not you're hardcore it's not like a deal me, breaker. Yeah, that's it. If, but if you're hardcore like me and you're like playing Street Fighter like a beast, yeah, well, hardcore then like you can't talk and play. Note, I can't talk and play. I perfected him. She did. She did. So the rampage cabinets. That's your favorite. Spoiler. At first sight, 
And after playing all of them, I think it's definitely my favorite one. The Rampage cabinet is, is one of my favorites. I think it's a really good package. Yeah. I mean, the games are, it's like, it has three joysticks. So right away, you know, that's the multiplayer cabinet, you know, where it's not just taking turns. Uh, Rampage, three players, perfect. Gauntlet, uh, the original arcade was four players. So I was kind of bummed that it's now well, I mean, a three player I thing. I feel like I remember it being either two or four. Mo most games were like that, two or four. So they split the difference. Three is not bad. But no, Joust awesome. is on this baby too. She loves Joust. I love Joust. Come challenge me, anybody. I will play that game all day, every day. So immediately, like I was hyped about Rampage and other games, but then I got into Joust. I was like, oh my God, I forgot mm -hmm. how obsessed I am with this game. So it's even more worth it. That's why it's my favorite cabinet. Knights on Ostriches. But I find if you have a package of four and one doesn't jive, yeah. it kind of just weirds everything out. Yeah, because it's straight up the controls of the game that's the issue. It's like the layout with there being three joysticks on this arcade top. It doesn't make sense because you need six buttons for Defender. Like but you only use one joystick. Yeah, so it's one joystick and then six buttons. So you kind of like, you're forced to make some sort of claw go on and like you're using the joystick up and down with your pinky and you're like reversing and accelerating with your other fingers and then you're kind of spread out. It doesn't work perfectly on this cabinet. So that's the only bad thing that I have to say about well, it. Well, I would also say, cause I want multiplayer games and like Rampage, three players, Gauntlet, three players, Joust, two players. So you're losing a joystick and then Defender is one and you have to take turns, right? Unless you let somebody control your buttons. Yeah, and, that's and the shoot. thing though. I think like if you play Defender with two people in a one player mode, then it makes sense, which is kind of silly, but I think it's fun because I actually tried it out that way and it was really fun. Overall, solid cabinet. All right, so the next cabinet we have to talk about is Asteroid's cabinet. Yeah, for me, well, that's a 70s cabinet. So for me, it's kind of like your dad's cabinet, <laughs> but it's awesome. Uh, it's most of the games use the buttons. Uh, some use the the spinner, right? Asteroids, solid. It's all buttons. You know, to change directions. It's great. Uh, not much you can say about asteroids. Um, yeah, I think all these games are really straightforward. But I love it. Like if I have to pick between the two Atari cabinets, I actually pick the asteroids cabinet for sure. I uh, actually, and I really like the spinner. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, like I mean, the track oh, but ball. yeah, I dude. Like okay, ball. one thing I'll say is the trackball I find works better. Yeah. Like it feels better to Perfect. use, but like I like the games yeah. on the Asteroids cabinet more. Uh, and then Centipede's cabinet had Centipede, Missile Command, Crystal Castles, <laughs> Millipede. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right off, right off the bat, having Centipede and Millipede, and Millipede's the sequel, right? Uh, it's kind of a little too much of the same, yeah, which is ironic. Similar, I mean... It's ironic considering there's a Street Fighter cabinet. That exactly. I'm That's why I'm like, how can I even complain? But you know, Missile Command. Oh my God, I love Missile Command. <laughs> I would get this cabinet just for Missile Command. You know, it's basically missiles are falling from the sky. It's like during the Cold War, which isn't cold anymore. Now it's hot apparently, and the missiles are falling on your city, and you got launchers, and you're just shooting them out of the sky using the trackball. I'm sure you could emulate this game, but it will not be the same without the trackball. Yeah, it, the trackball changes everything amazing. and it makes the cabinet more valuable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Last but not Street least, Fighter. we have a Street Fighter so cabinet. He, here's the thing, with Street Fighter going in, I was, before the cabinets came out, I was like, Street Fighter all the way! I was going crazy, Street Fighter, everyone has to have Street Fighter, right? Then I knew we were getting the other cabinets and I was like, oh, I'm so excited for the games I haven't played nearly as much, right? Because Street Fighter is my childhood. So I was kind of like, eh, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of boring in a way, it's like, it's chocolate, but I want to try avocado ice cream. So then we tried the other cabinets, and I kind of came back to chocolate. I get that. If, I it's, if I could only have one in my house, it would probably be chocolate. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's Street Fighter. Yeah. Because Street Fighter, assuming you have friends come over, Street Fighter will always be a hit forever. It's, it has staying power. That's why there's a million versions of Street Fighter yeah, 2. Yeah, definitely. Right? I mean, there's literally three versions of Street Fighter 2 on that one it's, cabinet. It's so. funny you get one less game, but th that's fine. I mean, it would have been cool if they mix it up and had a some other game on there, but yeah. it's a solid, solid cabinet. It's the safest cabinet. Yeah, um, I get it, but for me, it's like, okay, it's only Street Fighter. It's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm all Rampage, I'm sorry. It's the Rampage cabinet is my cabinet. That's my second cabinet, followed by Missile okay. Command cabinet. It should have <laughs> been, it should have been. Cabinet. It's like, you renamed it, you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, they should have changed the artwork. <laughs> Missile Command cabinet, trust no, me. No, no. Yeah. Okay, so bottom line, which one is your favorite one? Which one would you buy if you had to pick one? If I could have two. <laughs> okay, well then, just I would disregard have the, what I'm the saying. The Street Fighter and the Rampage, just, okay. just because, you know. <laughs> Realistically, like you're not gonna go out and get all four. I would like to, but I can't do that. 
Uh, yeah, with, so your, yours is Rampage, and yeah, you're Rampage sold. is my, if I had to pick one, it's Rampage. But then I'm like, I'm kind of stuck between Asteroids and um, Street Fighter, honestly. Funny enough, those two are tied for me, seriously. Because really? can I not but, decide? No, but this is the genius of Arcade 1UP. The genius is they released four completely different cabinets. Yeah. Right? They're completely different. I, that's why I'm like, man, I would like to own all of these, because they all have great games, and even the games that I didn't grow up with, I want to experience them, playing them in, in small bursts, yeah. right? If you were to bring over like uh, kids, like today, like kids around ten years old, they'd probably go straight for the Street Fighter. No? That's probably but so would true. I, because <laughs> you're actually a ten year old. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for the price price point, these are uh, two ninety nine in the states, and they're three ninety nine in Canada. Yeah, like it's kind of fair, but you do build it yourself. So maybe it should be a little cheaper. So if the price was a little lower, I'd be super happy. Overall, beautiful cabinets. I mm. highly recommend them. Good you, luck you, picking one if you can only pick one. You can't find licensed uh, arcade cabinets like this that are super authentic yeah. anywhere. You know? And I've always wanted an arcade. My entire life, I'm like, I need one cabinet at least. And now you can get a whole bunch of games oh. in one. Last question. This is oh. because they're releasing more of these. There, there's more True, coming up. Yeah. This is just the first line. If you could have any cabinet from your childhood, which cabinet would it be? I don't know. That's a big question, man. I you know, can't just throw it. that on me now. I don't know. Okay, I'm glad you I asked. Let me Kong, answer. <laughs> or Pac-Man. See, the problem is, it's like I love coming. so many games, but I want them on one. And clearly, it's like, no, it's an Atari cabinet. It's a Midway cabinet. Like, you can't mix and match. Okay. I would want to mix and match if I could. Okay, That's my but, problem. That's why I can't pick one. But for the art, for the art, what I really want is a Ninja Turtles cabinet. Ninja Turtles, mm. it could be just two games. Mm. Turtles arcade game, Turtles in Time, with the Turtles 2 art, because mm. it's got the actual actress like on the art with the it's it's just so nostalgic for me. So yeah. that's all I'm gonna say. Make it happen, I'll buy it. Yes, I don't, please. I don't care what the Let's price do is. that. Let's make it happen. <laughs> that is all the time we have today. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining us. This is really fun. Thanks. I know, right? It was super awesome. Uh, thank you so much to Arcade One Up for sending us these cabinets. Yo, call us for Wave Two. We're so down to make a review for that one too. And let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, and just smash the like button. We will see you next time. Bye. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.